Hey, what's up, guys? Quick question. Who else thinks Wolverine is the baddest ass X-Men out there? Raise your hands. Because I think he's awesome. But you know what? This isn't a vlog about toys. This is a vlog about silly season. So hold on to your seats because I got some info for you guys. Nitro is the glory, but E-Buggy pays the bills. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the NNRC News Rumor Vlog. I don't know what we're calling this one. Just calling it a silly season vlog. I wrote a blog about this yesterday. As you guys know, the floodgates for silly season have opened. But before I go on any further, I just want to put a little disclaimer out there before I, before I go into detail here. These are, I bring you this vlog. These are my thoughts on the rumors that I'm hearing out there. I'm not confirming these rumors. I just want to examine what we're hearing, because we're all hearing these rumors, and where these drivers might end up and what that equals to, if this was to happen. Um. So a lot of this stuff that I'm saying is just rumors, but there are some confirmations in here, and some of this stuff is true, and I will let you know before I talk about that further. So I don't know, man. I love silly season. It started Sunday afternoon for me. I was chilling out watching football, and then, boop, someone sends me a message, and Nima and Lutz have parted ways. I was like, oh, it has started. Wake up Monday, and <clears throat> the floodgates are open, and silly season has started. I love it. It's, I, I think people are into it. I, I love to see people guessing and speculating. This is the type of stuff when I was just racing her and, you know, didn't really know what was going on in the industry. I still probably don't know everything that's going on in the industry, but I got an idea. This is the type of stuff that I wanted to know about. I wanted to know about where the, the, the negotiations and the deals and where these guys are going. I love Silly Season. Always have. Now I get to talk about it. So I'm happy. It's our NFL draft. Let's be realist. I honestly wish the companies would make a... I honestly wish the industry would make a bigger deal about Silly Season than they do. Because I think it's awesome. But it's not over. It's just started. Because these negotiations can go on to the end of the year. Who remembers when Cav went to s -Works? We didn't know till like January 1st. So, yeah. We're going to talk about Silly Season. I wrote a blog about my thoughts on the Lutz Nemo split up and where Lutz will end up. Uh, as you guys know, in my blog, I said maybe S-Works or Kyosho. As you like talk in this, this next blog, maybe some things might work out. Like, this is, this is such a, fl a fluent subject. Like, even as I'm recording this vlog, I'm getting messages in from different people. So, like, it's just nuts. But let's start off with something that I do know. And if you're curious about what I had to say about Lutz, you can check out my vlog. It's on www.nnrcpodcast.com. I believe that's the address. If not, I will leave a written description, a written link, in the, a link in the written description. <laughs> Come on, tongue twisted lefty. So let me tell you that we do know that Lutz is out at Nemo. It, it seems like it was um, Lutz who asked for the split. And yeah, it's, it's, it's over between Nemo and Lutz. I wrote about it in my blog. Go check it out. I'm not going to repeat it. We've got new news to talk about. We will know where Ryan Lutz goes tomorrow. He said he'll let everybody know where he goes Thanksgiving. I really appreciate Lutz playing along with this. I like that. He did it when he made the switch from Techno to Agama. He's doing it again. I like this Lutz. I missed him. I'm glad he's not leaving RC, and I can't wait to see what he does next year and the coming years. So good luck to you, Lutz, and good luck to Team Tech, uh, team, team Techno, Team Agama, Team Nemo USA, Billy and the guys had something good happen to them. They have fast young racers. They can now, they have money freed up now where they can take those youngsters around, grow their, their brand organically in the grassroots thing, and Tyler Jones and Brandon Rose and Stephen Harris are more than capable of doing well at races. I mean, I think Tyler Jones is probably one of the fastest guys, young racers out there, and Brandon Rose isn't too far behind him. So, it, Nemo is going to be all right. And Lutz will be all right, too. Wherever he goes, that company will be fortunate to have him. So, what I do know, what happened first thing this morning, my first message this morning, Joe Pillars out at Yokomo. I know this has not been announced, but I know this is true. I've seen the email. Uh, he's done with Yokomo as of November 30th. 
I believe. Uh, they could not come to an agreement on their, their, their negotiations. But this is the rumor that I'm hearing from Yokomo is that they're cutting everybody's salary in half. So I guess, you know, hey, Joe is a longtime team manager. He's, he's a team manager, been a team manager of multiple big companies in the industry for many years. Um, he's the team manager of Yokomo, much more, many, and a few other companies. I'm not quite sure all that he does. Obviously, he does his job well because he's, he's pretty much, he's, he gets in with these bigger companies. And, and look, I'm going to tell you what, Yokomo grew really, really strong and, and really big in America in the last three years that he's been with them. So he's good at his job. And I guess you, you know, A, you have to go, if negotiations can't, you can't agree on something, you have to go somewhere else. So do not know where Joe Pillars is ending up. But I do know he's out of Yokomo. I'm probably going to get flack for this because it hasn't been announced. But hey, we should, like, I, he's out. And the rumors were he was out for a long time. Well, for, since last week, I've been hearing this. So I guess that's true now. He's out at Yokomo. But this is important to something that I will talk about here later on. Uh, I, I've heard s may maybe a destination for him, but I don't, I don't see that happening. Um, I don't believe that will happen. I don't know what's next for Joe Pillars. I wish him all the best. It's hard to, to lose your job, especially in this time, day and age. So, but I think he's, you know, he wouldn't leave there if he didn't have something else on the table. So, obviously, he has something, and it works. Get, trust me, these guys just don't leave without having something else <clears throat> in the works. So, Joe Pillar's out, confirmed, seen the email, hate me if you want, get mad at me at me if you want, everybody. But it's true, like, everybody's talking about this right now. It's Everybody's seen this email. So, he's out. Out at Yokomo, three years. Important. This is important to what we're going to talk about later because I'm hearing other things about Yokomo drivers and stuff like that, especially in Europe. Yokomo, like, oh, it's not looking good. Not looking good for Yokomo from what I'm seeing and hearing. But, you know, as the old saying, believe half of what you hear and all of what you see. So I think that's how it goes. So that's kind of where I'm at right now with all this type of stuff. Next up, we have... Cav out at S Works. Now, my my believing my be, I believe this about that one. I actually believe this rumor out of all the rumors I've I've been present. I'm going to present to you the most. Um, I don't I don't really understand. Okay, let's be honest. Cav came on. He's been on S Works for two years. He has not increased sales like they wanted, they need to get the infrastructure going in, in America, like they have Tim Lime, he's been doing that a year, 2020 has been a crappy year for everybody, so it's been hard to do anything really good, so I can't really hold that against them, but Cav saw success, he saw success, he just recently won AMS, which was a big race, a lot of fast guys there, he's, he's like, like he's finally gelling with the cars, and now I'm hearing he's out, and I thought s -Works, and we all thought like s -Works was his final destination, but uh, the rumor is what I'm hearing, and I don't know how true this is, but I personally always thought that he would be a great fit back at TLR. But I always heard that he burnt bridges there. He burnt bridges at AE. So I don't know if this is true or not, but to TLR makes sense to me because Cav's getting up in age. He's been running the two-wheel drive car, uh, for TLR for some time now. I don't know if he's still running, but he was running at OCR. So I think he ran it earlier this year and last year. Um, but that's what I'm hearing. Him to TLR. He can go there. It would be him and Fend. He's older. I don't know how much time Cav thinks he can race. He's, got, he's 33, 34 now. So, I don't know. Maybe he finishes his career in TLR, gets a job in the industry, and, and does it like that. I don't know. But I think Cav has... I think Cav has many years left of him in racing if he wants it. If he wants to do it, Cav can still do well at racing. So, Cav to TLR, this is the rumor I believe the most. But we have to see. I just, but see then, Cav leaving S-Works then makes room for the rumor about Lutz going to S-Works too. So, this might all add up. It might all add up. We'll know tomorrow for sure when, when Lutz makes his, his announcement. So right now, Cav to, I would say Cav to TLR for me is about 
55%. I still haven't seen anything. But my source that let me know this is pretty reliable. So I might have to bump that up. 70, 80%. 80%. I'll say 80%. I believe this. All right. If you believe that Ty Tessman flew all the way to Florida to run, I mean, it was a great race, but if you believe he flew all that way just to run a race, then I have some oceanfront property in the Sahara Desert that I'd like to sell you at a really good price. Ty went down there to test tires. I don't care what anybody says. My sources tell me this is true, and the source that told me this, I believe him 100%. So I think he went down there. He's down there testing JC tires, but I'm also hearing he's out testing AKAs, hot race, hot races in Florida as well. I truly believe he was, he's just, he's just on the East Coast testing out tires because we all know Horizon bought ProLine. And we've been talking about it for a while. What will Horizon do with all these drivers with big salaries, big deals? So Horizon isn't all about that. So maybe this is a sign. So I, I, I mean, I swear. He came down for the U.S. Open for that one race, then didn't stay for AMS. My thoughts on that is he came down, did negotiations with ProLine. Things didn't go right. So he went, he's, he's looking shop around. He's shopping around for a tie deal. And it's no secret that Tessman and JC, J Concepts, have been linked for many years. Look at Neo when they ran the, uh, you know, ran the tires. So I know, like, that this, I, I just, I know, like, some... I know that at some point, like either Tessman's and Jason Rona want to run J Concepts, or Jason Rona really wants Tessman's to run J Concepts, or Tessman's really want to run JC. But for me personally, I don't feel that J Concepts benefits from having Ty Tessman on their team because they have Rivkin, they have Mayfield, um, they have Dakota Fend, three really fast guys. I don't see the need for Tasman on their, on that team. Maybe just because they want him, but I don't see... I mean, yes, obviously he'll get more sales, but not... Like, I just don't see... Like, they don't need him. I mean, all these... I think all these people that are now, like, probably been cut by... Not cut, but are choosing to leave ProLine, they're going to go to J Concepts, a.k.a. Hot Race, wherever they can get a, a better, a good deal. So th these tire companies are going to get an influx of customers or sponsors or drivers, so... Income will come in, but I just don't see. Uh, I don't see the reason to have him tie at 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 JC. Just so I don't know. My my believability on this is, I definitely think Ty is looking for a tire sponsor. Um, I definitely think JC can afford him, but let's see what AKA and Hot Race come up with because they kind of need. A, 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 I think, I think a move for Ty going to a Hot Race or or AKA is probably better in the long run because for those companies and for him. So we'll see. I believe this. I believe Ty will be on different tires. I'm not quite sure which tires he'll be on. So let's put it that way. I, don't, I know Ty. I think Ty's going to be on different tires. I believe I'm 90% sure Ty will be on different tires next year. So let's leave it at that rumor. Okay. Okay. Up next. Now this rumor here is actually pretty shocking. I've... You, I've seen it floating around Facebook, but I haven't really touched it. I didn't really pay it no mind until today when another source of mine contacted me and told me this. And like I said, this is unconfirmed. Unconfirmed. This is just a rumor, but I'm hearing Drake to Jay-Z. If I was Jay Concepts, this is what I would do. I would get Drake. I think Drake moving to J Concepts is great for both of them. If if this is true, I mean we all know Drake's been at ProLine forever, but things are changing at ProLine, so maybe things are changing for a lot of people, and Drake included. It's no secret that you know on the West Coast it's predominantly dominated by AKA and ProLine. J Concepts has been trying to get a foothold in there, but you know when Pro, ProLine is actually out there developing the, you know, they're out there, they have their factory there, and, and, and AKA has their place there. So it's just easier for the West Coast guys to get tires, you know, no shipping, all that type of stuff. For I think putting Drake, Drake going to JC opens up that door for the West Coast for J Concepts. 
all them, all them Mugen guys that Drake's with, and all them guys who are on Pro Line that, that hang out with Drake, you know, that big Mugen click and all that stuff, they will then probably start running J Concepts with Drake. If I was J Concepts, this is exactly, I would go after Drake more than I would Testman. He doesn't need another fast, and, not, and not, no, let's not get it twisted, because Drake's still a fast driver and one of the greatest ambassadors for RC. So that's who I would go for because I would want to get more of a foothold on that West Coast market. It's a big market. And J JC has struggled somewhat to get a foothold there, mainly because they're East Coast based. So to me, Drake moving is a great move. Believability of this, I'm at, I'm at 50, 60% because I can see this happening. But unconfirmed, nothing. I haven't heard anything else from anybody else. But the source that told me this, pretty reliable. Pretty reliable. So Drake to JC, I'm at a 60% believability of this. I think, I think I can definitely see it happening, but let's see if it does. Remember how I said Joe Pillars was out at Yokomo as team manager? Well, that information is pertinent to what I'm about to talk about right now. So, okay, as of now, as of now, my sources tell me that Mayfield is still Yokomo and Mugen. That's what I'm hearing. That's what I have, I have been confirmed right now, as of now. But we cannot dismiss the rumor that's been circling for the last three or four days, and that is Mayfield out at Yokomo and, and Mugen to AE and TLR. Now, I don't know how much I believe I believe this at first, but with Joe Pillars out at Yokomo and Mug at Yokomo, sorry, this only kind of I'm I'm starting to think there is some there may be some truth to this. So let's talk about this before we, before I go any further. First off, Mayfield and Yokomo slash Mugen have been a great partnership. He has won a two wheel drive and a four wheel drive world championship multiple big wins and multiple classes with his Mugen cars. He's loving it. He's with Drake. He's on the, t he's, you know, running J concept tires, got a good engine. His program's great. One of the fastest guys in RC right now. But, you know, you still have to make a, you still have to make a salary. So here's, here's where I'm thinking things are, from what I'm, from what I'm hearing and from what I'm seeing, it looks like Yokomo is cutting salaries in half and all this type of stuff. I'm hearing it's affecting racers in Europe who, who race for Yokomo and whatnot. So this is all her say. I do know they were that about the salaries because I've seen it in the email. But I'm just saying, this is this is now I, I have something to talk about her. We all know that the Yokomo, you know, if you drive a 10 scale car, you know, the Yokomo and Yugen partnership has been a great one all these years. If you Mugen does not have a 10 scale Yokomo does. So if you run Mugen, you're probably going to run a Yokomo 10 scale car. If you run a Yokomo, you're probably more than likely going to run a Mugen car. It's just what you see. You know, it's, you may see an odd guy who does it. It's just a great combination. It's been happening for years. It's been successful. The Mugen team is big in, in is really big in America. Thanks to Joe Pillars, Mayfield and all these guys. But man, you have to make a salary. Yeah. The 10 scale part. I would say that the 10 scales part of Mayfield's uh, annual or monthly salary is a big part. Yokomo pays uh, a good salary, a decent salary, plus contingency. That's a big chunk of change to be missing from your monthly salary if you don't have that. Yugen does not have a 10 scale. They cannot pay Mayfield to run 10 scale because they don't have one. They pay him to run 8 scale. So that's their job. That's their job done. So if, if this is true and like... If this is if this rumor if this rumor was to happen, let's just let's say hypothetically say this rumor was to happen and that Mayfield's out at Yokomo, and he's going to let's say AE. Well, if he's out at Yokomo, then he's got to be out at Mugen. You know what I mean? Obviously, because he needs he needs ten scale cars, because that's a big chunk of his salary. I would assume. So, I'm just saying, like I'm just trying to play these scenarios out of my brain. So if he's out at Yokomo, he's definitely got to leave Mugen. And he's, he's got to go find a car that has 10 scale and 8 scale. Now, the, the links I keep hearing is, oh, he's going to go back to AE or TLR. These are all unconfirmed, unconfirmed people. As of, Remember, I will state again, as of now, it's confirmed that he's staying with Yomo, Yokomo and Mugen. But 
these rumors are flying around, they're circulating, and things that you're things are moving fast. I'm getting messages right now as I do this vlog. So moved, I think if I was if if I'm Mayfield and this is what I'm coming up with, what would be the best move for Mayfield? TLR or Mugen? Um TL, sorry, TLR or AE. Well, I think honestly, if he went to AE, that would be his best move. He he done well with AE. It was him, Ryan Cavallari, and then Spencer Rifkin came along. You know, how many battles did we see? Ryan Cavallari and Mayfield, two associates battling against each other. Then he left and did two years at TLR. Then his time at TLR stopped. Then he's been with Mugen and Yokomo for three years. We all know that J Concept is, is very much affiliated with Associated. We have J Concepts, you know, Jason. It's like the producing a little factory of RC races out there. They run JC Concept, Drake Concepts tires. They run Associated cars. They, they kind of wear glasses. They kind of look the same. And, but, you know, Mayfield doesn't fit into that. But I'm just saying, you know, it only seems natural that he goes back to AE. It's a company that he, he put a lot of time with. He has probably has still really great ties with them. And it goes well with the J Concept tires. The only issue is, and, May, and this is where Mayfield can race till he's 40. He's, what, probably 34, 35. Now, race till he's 40 or whatever, whatever age he wants to race, and then he can have a job in the industry of AE and J Concepts later. That's what I, if I was Mayfield, that's how I would be thinking. The move to TLR for me does not seem viable. Cav to TLR seems much more viable than this because I think at some point, I know people, people been, this has been floating around, but I think at some point being a fully sponsored driver by TLR, running a different tire might, affect you at some point not right now but at some point this might happen i mean we're seeing the uh, a mass exodus of pro line drivers to all these other tire companies because you know it looks like horizon's making slashes and and cutting people from the team which i could i understand they're all about making money this is big corporation in rc nothing it's that's well that's how things work i don't have nothing against that i just don't see TLR, if, if Mayfield was to leave and go TLR as a long-time viable option, I think at some point his, there will be a conflict in tires with, with them obtaining ProLine. Because, you know, Mayfield has been J Concept since its inception. Him and Jason Wren are really close friends. They will look off each other. And there's a loyalty between those two that is unprecedented. So I honestly feel like if, if Mayfield ever quits racing, he's got a job full-time at J Concepts anyway. So... The TLR thing does not seem too viable for me. It just doesn't seem like I don't see Mayfield being corporate. Like, you know what I mean? I, I don't want to see Mayfield be corporate either. I want Mayfield to be Mayfield. I would love for Mayfield to actually be himself and be able to, like, be savage like he wants to be. And I, that would never happen at TLR. But AE, I think he can fit in well there if this, it comes down to that. The issue would be, wh where does AE get the money for him? I mean, you got Angaro over there in Italy. Yes, Angaro's not been doing much because of COVID. Yeah, you got uh, Dustin Evans running 10 scale. How does Mayfield fit in there? Is it a one-two punch with him and, and Rivkin? Or, or what? what What happens to people like Angaro and, and Evans and all this stuff? I don't know. I don't have the answers for this. I just want to take these rumors that we heard and try to, you know, analyze them and see what where we come out. Like, So, I don't know. A, if, 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 if... And this is a big if. If Mayfield is out at Yokomo, then I see AE being the most viable option for him. And I think that's where he can go, end his career, go out in a blaze of glory, and still be involved in the industry via AE and J Concepts. That's just my opinion. But as of now, I've been, it's been confirmed with me that he's still staying with Yokomo. But this is silly season, and anything can happen. So there's so many moving parts, just negotiations, negotiations going on as we speak. I'm probably going to get a lot of flack for making this video, but you know what? I don't care because I think the people need to know this stuff, and I think it's interesting to people. And we're, we're, just, we're just throwing rumors around. It's fun. Did we enjoy this silly season, man? Um, before I sign out, I wanted to touch back on Ty. I forgot to talk about this. We keep hearing we think Ty is going to be out. Of, of x-ray i don't think this is gonna happen i think he's gonna get a tire company 
he's going to get on with a tire company, and that's going to—that's what they're trying to do: secure a tire company, secure some salary and some contingency with this company, and continue on racing. I cannot see uh, X-Ray getting rid of Board and Ty because, and I can't see any company that can afford both Board and Ty at the same time right now. The only company that I think that could do that would be TLR, maybe S Works too, maybe, but. I don't think TLR needs Gord and Ty. They have Thomas Tran, who's doing a great job. They don't need a team manager. Maybe they need a mechanic. I don't know. Maybe Gord can be like a mechanic. Like no, like Thomas Tran does does a lot of the paperwork and whatnot and 10 scale side of things. And you know, he's he's like the team manager shaking hands and kissing babies. And maybe Gord is like uh like a, a vice a vice uh team manager i don't know but i just don't see this happening i think he's gonna stay at x-ray because x-ray is doing okay in 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 usa they have paul sicarello they have a lot of young guys i've seen i'm seeing x-rays pop up more and more i mean not at tracks but people announcing that they're running for for x-rays on facebook so it's not going too bad for x-ray in america the gordon and ty have done something it's been a shame that they haven't been able to race much because of covid and that Canada has been locked on and the borders can't go, but they, obviously they can come across the border, but they just have to quarantine and they go back. So I don't think we're going to see Ty move from chassis. Things are good. They can afford, they can afford Gord and, and Ty, I would say at X-Ray. And they've been doing a good job there in the U S and North America. I don't see this happening, but definitely on different tires. That's all I have for today, guys. I don't have any more information. If I get any more information over the next, over the holiday, I will definitely do another blog, vlog. I keep calling this a blog. I hope you guys are enjoying the silly season as I am. I hope it keeps our minds of what's going on in this crazy world at right now. And we look forward to more positive things coming in 2021. I know things don't look too good, but we're going to get through this. We're going to be back racing together shortly. And I can't wait to meet all of you guys. And if you don't like what I'm saying in this vlog, that's fine. I don't really, that doesn't really bother me. This is my opinion. This is my thoughts. I love this stuff. I live for silly season. I'm just ashamed. I'm just, I'm just upset that Joseph it really isn't into it right now because we get into this. I love talking about this stuff with like Joseph and Jeff and all these different people. This is what I enjoy. This is why I, I do the podcast so we can know stuff like this and we can talk about this. I know you guys enjoy this stuff. I see the interactions on Facebook. We all want to know where these guys go. We should know. We are the public. We pay these guys bills. I don't see why we can't know this type of stuff. So I'm going to talk about it, whether it gets me in trouble or not. I know these guys have negotiations going on. I don't want to say anything that might jeopardize their negotiations. But these are the rumors that are flying around. They're flying around provision. Like, I didn't even know the word to use that just... They're out there, like everybody's talking about this stuff. Well, I just wanted to examine and analyze these different things and these different moves and how it would affect these drivers. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is my first real vlog, and I will be doing more of this, not just with RC and Silly Seas and stuff, but what I'm doing in my, my day-to-day life with RC and some of the things I'm planning on doing in 2021. I hope you guys like this. If you like what we're doing on this YouTube channel, please give us a sub. Give us a like and write us a share and also a comment. We need to boost our viewers and our our followers or sorry, our subs on this channel. And I appreciate if you could do that because I like to get this this YouTube channel going. And that's just another another facet, the NNRC to bring you guys information that you want. So thank you for paying attention. Remember, Nitro is the glory. E-Buggy pays the bills. If you ain't grinding, you're sliding. And remember... Hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. Remember, touch that sub button, that uh, that, noti- that notice button. Give me a comment and a shirt, and I greatly appreciate it. Lefty, out.